Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is print adjacency list and it is an easy level problem. So again, like it happens a couple of times when there is nothing much about discussion in the problem itself, but uh, we just make the videos for the sake of continuing the upload streak. And although it is very improbable, but if someone really needs help on this question, then it would be great for him to have this video uploaded. So anyways, the problem says that we have been given an undirected graph with V nodes and E edges and we have to return an adjacency list of that particular graph, right? So this question itself is not important, but what it is using will be applied in many other problems, right? So you will realize that in most of the problems, you will be given an edge list as an input, right? But most of the graph algorithms that we used are actually applied on the adjacency list. So this would actually be the first step you do while forming your adjacency list. So here you see I've created a double dimensional vector, right? Now this is going to be a vector G of size V. Why size V? Because there are V nodes in my graph. So I'm just going to traverse to the edge and for the first element, I'm just going to push back the last element and for the last element, I'm just going to push back the first element, right? So what is actually an adjacency list? Adjacency list denotes for each node what are the other nodes connected to it, right? So if one and two are connected, that means I can say that one is connected to two and two is connected to one, right? Since it is an undirected graph, that is why I'm pushing this value in both of them. If it was a directed graph, then I would only push the value in the adjacency list of the first node, right? So if A is connected to B, I would write G of A dot push back B, right? That is something that you have to take care of when you're using a directed graph. And there is one more thing you will realize that I've used a vector of integers here. So whenever you are solving a problem where you might need to modify your adjacency list later in the problem, right? So it might happen when you encounter some uh, important and difficult problems. In that particular case, you can use a set of integers here, right? Instead of using a vector of integers, you should prefer a set of integers in C++. The reason being, you can easily remove any element from the adjacency list of any node in login time, right? So that would be very helpful. And if you're using a vector of integers, it would take you O of n time, right? Now, this was all about, I believe for this particular video, let me just quickly submit this and show you that this code works. And this is usually the first step you would do while solving any graph problem, because this is the step where you convert the given input into a proper adjacency list on which you can apply any of your algorithms, right? So you see passes all the test cases and the solution is correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video was actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you're one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of cost and you can always subscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share this channel with your friends and till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye-bye.